Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how you can seed your Google Sheet with realistic fake data with the help of ChatGPT. It's very essential to have good data sets when you are experimenting with some cool stuff or doing some data analytics task. Like here, you can see I have got a bunch of sheets with different kinds of data sets, like employees, food data, tasks, etc. It will greatly save your time from preparing the data sets, and you can straight away jump into learning or experimenting new things like data analysis, constructing charts and dashboards, playing with pivot tables, etc. First step is to write a well-defined prompt for chat GPT. I would recommend that you mention all the possible details like column or header fields, constraints, number of rows. First, I will walk you through the main steps involved. Open the spreadsheet and then open the script editor by clicking Extensions and then App Script. Then you need to paste this script. You can get the script by making a copy of this spreadsheet. This simple script takes a two-dimensional array as its parameter and writes the data into the active sheet. Now open ChatGPT. Then you need to prepare your prompts. In general, your prompts should answer the following. What is the data about? What are its fields? Any constraints that you want to set on fields? How many rows of data do you need? And the most important one is the format of the output, which has to be a two-dimensional array. Let me show that to you by taking a simple example first, then we will make it more complex. Here is my prompt. It's simply asking for 20 clients with their details. Notice, I have asked it to give output in a two-dimensional array format. Let's send this. And here's the output data. I will copy this to my script editor like this, then replace this data variable name here with this one. Now find the seed function here and click on Run. If you run this for the first time, then it will ask for authorizing the code. Go ahead and grant all the permission. After the code has finished running, go to the active sheet and you will see all your data. Now you may modify this data to suit your needs. Let me show you another prompt that sets constraints on several column fields. Here is the prompt for requesting data regarding task management. It has fields like ID, task description, task category, priority, deadline date, reminder date, assigned user, status. It also sets constraints on few fields like reminder has to be five days before deadline dates. Allowed values for priority fields, high, medium, low. Allowed values for status fields, pending, in progress, completed. Assigned users can be repeated and should take from six available staff. And the most important one is that the output should be in two-dimensional array format. Let's send this. And here we have our response data. I will copy this to the script editor and change this data to tasks. Run the seed function. And here we have got our data. Similarly, you can get any data sets you desire. Down here, I have listed several arrays of data that I have generated using ChatGPT. You can test it for yourself. I will also attach links to my ChatGPT prompts. You can refer to that also. You can find the link to this spreadsheet in the description. Please subscribe to my channel for more Google Sheets tips and tricks. 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.